Let me ask you a fun question, okay? Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? <sighs> Mars. God of War. The other one. The planet. Yeah. So there is a kind of captivating notion that we might, I'm, I'm excited by it, the human being stepping foot on Mars. That to me is, uh, it's like one of those things that feels like it's, why do we want to ex uh, engage in space exploration? But I'm a little bit with Elon Musk on this, which is, um, it's obvious that eventually, if human sp species is to survive, it's going to have to innovate in ways that includes the sp space. Okay. Like there's a lot of things we're not able to predict yet that if we push ourselves to the limits of space, like new ideas will come. They'll be obvious a hundred years from now and that we're not even imagining now. Sure. And colonizing Mars, that idea that seems ridiculous, exceptionally difficult, impossibly expensive, is something that is actually going to be seen as obvious in retrospect okay. and that we should engage in. Okay, that's just to contextualize things. The fun idea, idea and experiment from a philosophical and political sense is what kind of government how do you orchestrate a government when you go to Mars? Like, what, we don't get too many chances like this, but how do you build new systems, not in place of old ones, but in a place where no system previous have existed? I think organically. I hate that word, but that's the correct word. Um, you would have to figure out, I mean, that's what, how America was built. You had the, was a Jamestown colony and they tried to do communism here and it completely failed. Then they went to a more free market system with the second wave of colonists, is my understanding. Um, for Mars, I mean, it depends on the population, who the population was, the number of people. Um, I, I don't know. These are all kind of hypotheticals that I don't really have any good insight in uh, uh, whatsoever. I'm not a space person. I hate astronomy. Like, I hate it. So a lot of people look up to the stars and they're filled with awe and wonder about the mystery of the universe. And you, you look up to the stars and you feel what? I'm not looking up. I'm looking at the Earth. If you if you look at what's I'd much rather given a choice between Mars and the deep sea, I'd much rather spend a week at the deep sea and all the life forms that are down there because they're literal aliens. They're, it's like things that are not literal, but they're unimaginable to us. Uh, some of the things down there. Yeah, that's true. To me, it's an interesting thought experiment to see when you have ten people and you have a hundred people. Right. Of course. Like yeah. how how do you build an effective? You know, this is actually really useful for a company, right? Like, how do you build an effective company right. that does things? Uh, it's not an obvious, despite everybody being really certain about everything in this in this modern world. To me, it's not obvious. Like, how do you run successfully as a, a group of people? I agree. I, I, I that's what I'm saying. It also organic means you have to look at who the people are and tailor the organization to them, as opposed to try to impose something. But you get to also select people. Right, because it's, it's not gonna be open borders on Mars. Oh, right. To, to, <laughs> I was gonna say, when you have one country, it's all open borders. But yeah. yeah, you're right, the, from, from outer space. Right. Some say there are aliens already there, so you're gonna have to negotiate that. Sure, we're, we're aliens, so. We're aliens to somebody. We're legal aliens. Do you think there's alien civilizations out there? Yes, there's, of course. What, what do you think is their system of government? Anarchism. Because they're advanced. 